what's up you two what's going on people below zero here it's a gorgeous day here in toronto area it's nice and sunny it's kind of chilly but anyway it just feels really good being on a motorcycle anyway today i want to talk about uh, my v-strom 1000 i want to give you a detailed review uh, of this bike after about what uh, 5,000 kilometers or 3,000 miles that I clocked in the past about I don't know five six weeks I took this bike uh, pretty much on every road I did a little bit of off-roading I was on a highway on a dirt gravel roads I was riding in a city and uh, also like out of town on twisties so uh, Kilometer wise, I mean mileage wise, it's not heck of a lot, but uh, it's I think good enough to kind of draw conclusions and talk about this bike um, and what I think what <laughs> this bike it's all about. I'm not gonna beat those technical specs to that, but uh, it is 1000 cc engine V-twin, pushes about 100 horsepower, 75 foot-pound of torque, and majority of that torque comes between 35 and let's say 5000 RPM, which is really fun to ride. So if you're gonna go on some twisty roads, if you're riding in a city, um, or even like a cruising on a highway, you're gonna like it a lot. Above five, 6000 RPM, like a, let's say if you're cruising on a highway, uh, 120 130 kilometers per hour that will be about 75 80 miles per hour there is really nothing much in that range nothing to write home about uh, but then again it's a cruising speed and I prefer the way Suzuki tuned this engine giving majority of that power down low and keeping it kind of uh, flat and linear at a high rev range the engine it's not vibey at all you can feel vibration on foot pegs I prefer that having some sort of a feedback uh, from the motor but uh, handlebars and seat itself it's rock solid so you're not gonna actually feel any discomfort fuel economy is pretty darn good uh, Suzuki advertised this 2015 model to run about 42 miles per gallon or burning about 5.7 liters per hundred kilometers and I can tell you uh, after my round trip of about thousand kilometers or about 600 miles uh, I'm very very close to that number as a matter of fact uh, in one stretch I beat that mileage for I don't know uh, I was doing about 44 miles per gallon uh, burning about 5.4 5.5 liter per hundred kilometers not a big big difference but um, I truly believe for 1000 cc engine um, and the weight this thing weights about 507 pounds wet uh, fuel economy is very very good I know I read a lot of reviews and uh, you know videos where owners were basically uh, raving about how great this stock suspension is and as I said after about a month and a half of riding this thing I can definitely confirm it so front and rear is adjustable a previous owner of this bike I got it used didn't actually touch the suspension so I did adjust front and back to my liking to my weight um, and works really well so I did test it on twisty roads I did actually spend a lot of time on a highway I did travel with a passenger and I can confirm it works really well so riding of course two up on this bike um, you know I just adjusted the rear I softened up the rear shot and uh, passenger actually my wife was really happy we went on a longer trip it's about I don't know 500 600 kilometers in one day and uh, she was totally happy she didn't complain at all so when it comes to setup right out of the factory what you get uh, on this bike I think they did a great great job now when it comes to brakes on V-Strom 1000 I gotta mention one thing first I never owned a motorcycle with ABS uh, before so this is the first for me I can't really compare to anything else but I can tell you uh, the front is very very powerful now once again this is a 500 pound motorcycle so you have to have a lot of stopping power especially if you're traveling with a with a passenger uh, but let me tell you this thing stops on a dime to my surprise really pleasant surprise the rear brake is extremely powerful now when I say extremely powerful I'm comparing to some other bikes I have in the past where 
you know usually the rear brake is kind of sluggish not powerful but this one definitely is so when i ride in a city honestly guys 50 percent of the time i'm using that rear brake to kind of slow down so i have no complaints about brakes i have no complaints about uh, that actual abs feature the bike also comes with traction control now this is the feature that you can disable uh, there's two basic levels high and low um, and I also like that one because uh, again a couple weeks ago I was uh, up north riding on some twisty roads and I came across a big patch of loose gravel while turning and um, I saw the light flashing I know the system was engaged but uh, once again uh, the bike felt good um, I didn't actually lose control or anything like that I didn't slide so definitely I mean good feature to have so when it comes to safety uh, this bike is equipped pretty well now transmission it's silky smooth I think I mentioned that in one of my previous videos it works really really well uh, shifting is great uh, clutch is nice buttery smooth and as far as the uh, up shifting down shifting goes like uh, even novice riders will be able to handle it now engine braking is in my opinion uh, very well tuned so shifting from four to third third to second uh, you're gonna slow down but that slowdown is not gonna be abrupt it's like a really nice transition uh, between the gears when it comes to comfort this thing is probably the most comfortable bike I ever owned to be quite honest with you guys and this is bike number 10 or 11 that I own in the last 25 years so it's really really um, how do you say well it fits really really well the seat is designed uh, in my opinion uh, brilliantly because uh, it's nice comfortable it's cushy it narrows down in the front for a rider so even like a, let's say shorter people maybe I don't know five seven five eight will be able to handle this bike so let's talk about things that I'm not crazy about on this motorcycle um, they are all small ticket items I'm gonna mention that right up front uh, easily fixable but uh, after about a month and a half of ownership I can mention like uh, just those two three things that I believe Suzuki could do slightly better first thing first OEM windscreen on V-Storm 1000 is in my opinion pretty badly designed it's not wide enough it's not tall enough to provide any substantial wind protection um, actually the worst part is it creates so much buffeting so much turbulence that no matter how quiet your helmet is things will get pretty noisy actually very fast so riding on a long distance runs with this windscreen can be uh, kind of painful uh, quite annoying so I definitely planning to replace this thing go probably with GV airflow uh, people are saying it's a really nice and quiet windscreen uh, perfect fit for uh, for this bike so most likely I'm gonna go that route again it's not a big deal it's easily fixable it's not a huge problem for about a couple hundred bucks uh, riding comfort will improve for sure second issue that I have believe it or not is a locking mechanism on side cases so my bike actually came with uh, side cases original OEM Suzuki side cases now I stumbled upon uh, some posts on online forums where people were saying that uh, they have a problem with uh, with that lock and a couple weeks ago while I was uh, about 700 kilometers away from Toronto I basically opened a side case and I tried to close it I couldn't lock it and it was kind of weird because uh, all of a sudden I remember hmm, okay I know exactly what these people were talking about so basically the latch in that locking mechanism doesn't basically go back in place so you can't turn the key you can't lock it I don't know if it's a recall level problem um, but again I contact Suzuki and they told me to visit I don't know closest dealership they're gonna either replace it or they're going to fix it the third thing I gotta mention is that exposed oil filter and exhaust underneath the bike first and foremost I gotta say this I don't do off-roading a lot so for me 
maybe it's not a huge deal. For guys that are doing a lot of off-roading, exposed oil filter um, in that position, and of course with that uh, exhaust pipe right beside it, could be a definitely an issue. So when it comes to, again, design, I don't know, when I saw this bike for the first time, I was kind of surprised. I uh, thought about like uh, why Suzuki did actually uh, design this thing this way. I know from maintenance perspective, it's totally cool. It's very, very easy to do uh, oil changes and stuff. But, um, you know, for any sort of, uh, as I said, adventure, dirt, road uh, riding, that can be a potentially uh, a huge risk. So other than that, once again, this bike is absolutely amazing. I have no complaints whatsoever. It handles well, it goes pretty good. Uh, engine is fantastic, suspension works pretty well. Uh, doesn't matter if you go off-road, if you're traveling on a highway doing twisties or you're on a long haul with the passengers. Works really, really, really well. It's fun to ride. Uh, it's actually fuel efficient. And uh, for 1000 cc, the fuel economy is darn good. Overall, I really love this bike. I think I made a good decision to go for this one over 650. I don't know, a lot of guys that have 650, maybe, I don't know, they're gonna disagree. But uh, for me, uh, this bike does wonders. I'm gonna wrap things up for today, guys, uh, with one thing. Um, I think somebody mentioned uh, or I read somewhere, they said the V-Strom doesn't do anything exceptionally well, but does everything very, very good. I can't agree more with that statement. Uh, in the past month and a half, I can confirm this thing is not gonna be the fastest or the most nimble motorcycle around. But if you're looking for all-rounder motorcycle, jack of all trades, V-Strom is definitely one of those bikes that you should take a look. So I'm going to leave it again on that note. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate coming back and checking out the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next one. Cheers. Peace.